guys, it's April, and Stephanie over at Stacks on Stacks on Stacks has tagged me to do the OK So Bookishly tag, and I haven't done a tag for quite a while, and this seems like a good tag to just wet my feet back in the tag world. I will link all of the information about this tag down below, Stephanie's original video in which she tagged me in, and the original tag video that started this whole chain of tags. I think you should check both of them out because they are really fun videos to watch and you get to learn a little bit about some of the people in this community, which I love doing, which is why I've been binging this tag recently. The first thing in this tag is to just give your channel name and your real name and my channel name and my name are both the same thing, April Sarah. April Sarah is actually my legal name. I just felt like creating a brand around myself, so that is what happened. April Sarah was given to me at birth by my mother, so thank you mother that I'm okay with my name. second part of this tag is to open your Instagram account and talk about the first three things that show up. Okay, so I'm going to open up my Instagram account, which is made on for anybody who doesn't know. You should follow me if you like naked animals. Highly recommend it. Upon opening up my Instagram account, my first post is actually from my roommate. I will attach a screenshot of it so you can check it out. She has taken a picture of The Raven Boys by Maggie Stiefvater with a gorgeous feather reef that we found quite a while ago. I really like how this image turned out. She, she, does, she does good work. Plus, we use the same studio, so I have to like give her props. The second image to pop up is Sarah Ella's Instagram account and it looks like she's got her Mac and a beautiful rose book flower which I really like and a Beauty and the Beast. Oh it's a, it's a laptop cover. I like it. I like it a lot. And last but not least the third one on my Instagram account is Kalina Sphinx Kitty. I follow a lot of Sphinx accounts because it's a thing you do when you have naked animals. You follow other naked animals. So that is basically what that account is all about, is naked cat. Naked cat. The third part to this tag is to open up your YouTube account and show the first three things that show up in your subscription feed. So this could be fun. If any of you have posted today, you might show up on my account. That might be a thing. Loading is loading. Okay, so the first post is Philip DeFranco because I follow his new channel. It's how I get a lot of my news things. So it looks like there are things going on in the world. The next one is My Harto. Looks like she's got a video up about LTBQT plus and bullying which is an important thing to know about. And then the final one is explanations and what is two spirit. Now, I won't lie, I wasn't expecting these three things to be the first three things that show up on my feed. I think I just did this at the right time. I promise there are bookish people in my feed. That is just kind of what showed up. Number four is what is your favorite song to listen to while you are writing or reading? A, I don't write. It's just not something you guys want me to do, trust me. But I do read, of course, which is why I have this channel. But I don't listen to music while I read because if the music has words to it, I tend to get distracted by the music. And if the music doesn't have words to it, I will fall asleep. It doesn't matter what position I am in, I will fall asleep. So music does not happen while I'm reading. I can watch a movie or TV. I don't know, understand why I can't do music. It's something in my brain. It doesn't work for whatever reason. Number five is what is my favorite book on my shelf at the moment. And my new favorite, my current favorite, the thing that just happened to my face is, of course, this book. Oh, it's upside down. This book right here. Oh, wow. And that is The Thrilling Adventures of Lovelace and Babbage. This book is just absolutely amazing. It's a comic book that looks at the life of Babbage and Lovelace and the possible first computer and the first programming and creates this pocket universe and all this nonsense. I have reviews, so I won't go any more in depth into it here. And if you want to check that out, check that out. But I really, really, really like this book. A lot. Number six is my favorite thing to use as a prop in my videos or my pictures. Of course I do videos and my favorite thing besides my beautiful bookshelves of course that are always behind me is probably that light right there and the strip light behind it. Those are Philips Hue lights 
And if I have my phone in my hand, I can be really, really fancy, open up the app, and go, should we change the color of this? I think we should change the color. Let's change the color. Oh, we're now pink. And you can do that with both of them. It's, it's kind of fun to do. I like it. I have certain setups already installed, so we'll, we'll, we'll just we'll just we'll just bring that back down. Number seven is three books that I'm dying to reread, and of course I will always 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 come back to Daughter of the Forest by Juliet Merlier. I usually want to read this about once a year. It's something that always happens to me. I really love this book. Then I have been thinking recently a lot about the Immortal series by Tamara Pierce. I love the series, talking to animals, strong female characters. It is a thing. And so I've been thinking about this one recently, so I might reread it. There's just so many books in the universe. Ah. And then finally, I don't know what made me think of this book, but just a little while ago, I thought about this book again, and that is Guardian of Honor by Robin D. Owens. This is an adult fantasy read where someone from our reality ends up in a completely different universe. Something about that just calls me. I think because I always imagine suddenly stumbling into a doorway of some kind and ending up in a different place. I think that's that's why I like this. Number eight is an amazing bookish find. I have shown this thing a million times before on this channel, but I will always come back to this, and that is the whole Silo series by Hugh Howey in this edition. Uh, this, this this thing is my pride and joy at the moment. All three are signed. They are beautiful, and they are probably the most I've ever spent on books before and probably ever will. I don't see myself like splurging unless the author is one of those authors like Hugh Howie is for me. Covers and things are just absolutely gorgeous and I have to have it. It might not happen a lot, but it might happen again, I guess. I don't know. I just, I love these. These are my amazing bookish finds. <sighs> And then last but not least, your hottest author crush. I feel really, really bad, but I don't think about the authors a lot when I'm doing my reading. I don't even know a lot of the authors. I mean, I know names, but authors are just names to me. That's bad. I'm sorry. So that was the okay so bookishly tag. And now I guess I should tag some people. Of course, I have to tag my roommate because I flagged her Instagram account. So I will tag her. I will also tag Sarah Ella for the same reason. I don't know if she'll get around to doing it, but I'm gonna tag her anyways. And then I tag Sheila from Shea Geeks Out. If you would like to do this tag as well, and I didn't mention you, of course, do this tag, let me know, because I want to creep you. I want to creep you so much. And with that, I heart your beautiful faces. Bye.